Hi friends, welcome to DIYs with Nosh. Today I'm sharing three fun and easy farmhouse makeovers. Our first project is this wooden tree. So this is the tree. We're going to give it a makeover. We're going to give it a farmhouse makeover. So we'll start with, I just cleaned it nicely. This is the white acrylic paint that I'm going to use. It's already been cleaned. In this, we will be just applying one coat because I want to give it a slightly rustic look, not a prim and proper. So that's one coat. I'm not going to give it another coat. I wanted to have this rough kind of a look, not a very clean and neat one. So that's how it's looking right now. I can't move it over because it's wet. So I think there might be a small smudge over here. Oi small smudge here and here what are we going to do well I don't think I can do anything much about it now it's already there okay let's see what we can do now so plan B can see through this. I am slightly disappointed because I really wanted to have that stenciled look, but it's okay. I absolutely love this green. It's so beautiful. I think this might need a second coat, most probably. Got some stain here. One stain here. And a couple of stains here. We'll go away, that's not an issue. I downloaded this free farmhouse label um, from from the internet my son printed it out and I simply cut it out and use some decoupage glue to adhere it like so the center 
but I I think I made a mistake um, I should have distressed the label you know so that it could kind of uh, gel seamlessly into the background I'm now applying a coat of the same varnish all over the uh, tray. Now I found this um, small bag of uh, bottle stoppers or lids, whatever you call these, uh, at one of these uh, thrift stores. And luckily enough, today I'm bringing them to use. Um, so I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to turn those into um, legs for this tray. They sat snugly over there. Yep. So yeah, and with that, we're ready. And our next project are Today these two. Are these uh, two milk cans? My husband had actually got um, these uh, chocolates, Swiss chocolates, in these. In one of his overseas trips, it stayed in the house, and finally, I'm going to give it uh, a cute makeover. I hope. <laughs> So I'm starting with this uh, chalk paint. Actually, I'm going to mix two uh, paints. It was supposed to be uh, one is to one, which is acrylic paint as well as chalk paint. The ratio was supposed to be one is to one. However, you will notice how I uh, made a blunder. And uh, the chalk paint went, I think, almost three is to one <laughs> with the acrylic paint. But no harm done, it's it's going to be only thicker, that's it. So that's fine. And now you'll notice uh, my big goof up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this was not supposed to happen, but anyway. So I'm just going to mix it and we're going to give it, uh, we're going to give the uh, can the first coat. I'm going to do this in fast forward so that you don't get too bored. You know, my channel is all about makeovers and DIYs and thrift finds or Dollar, dollar Tree Store um, DIYs. Um, you know, my decor style um, does not necessarily gravitate towards one particular style. You'll find a little bit of coastal and modern and farmhouse and shabby chic in almost all my makeovers. However, I'd love if you could comment um, what kind of videos or DIY videos inspire you and what kind of um, makeovers um, you'd love to see. You know, my favorite projects um, are the trash to treasure DIYs. Similar to, uh, similar to this one, where I can actually breathe life into something which was probably ready for the garbage bin <laughs> or the shredder. And just a little bit of paint, a little bit of glue, a little bit of uh, embellishments, and it can, you know, kind of uh, actually turn into home decor, similar to this one. 
so i mean if you're if you're not a subscriber now would be a good time to subscribe to my channel that way and don't forget to press the uh, bell icon because then you can actually you know um, get informed the minute i release new videos um yeah and if you like this video please don't forget to also give it a, a thumbs up a like i mean if you want to share that would be great love it if you could share this video as well and uh, yeah so right now i'm going to begin with my second project uh, this is a smaller size similar can can milk can and i'm going to clean it up with some uh, baby wipes and then i'll be giving it a oops i'll be giving it a second uh, a first coat and then i'll be giving it a second coat i think i'll let you hear some music now some white acrylic paint over here with a little bit of so we're just going to take some acrylic paint this is the second coat And so finally this this is how it looks right now i i downloaded these labels from the internet and uh, had them printed it's just on regular paper it's not on any fancy paper and i'm applying my decoupage glue and uh, i'm going to just adhere the uh, adhere the um, the label onto it and once I once I uh, once I'm going to adhere the label, I'm also going to um, put the decoupage glue on top of it as well, so that kind of seals it. And uh, once that's done, I'm going to tie this um, twine around the neck of the um, of the can, and with that, we'll be ready. I'm going to repeat exactly the same process with the other milk can as well. Uh, the only difference being that that's slightly smaller. So I've got a smaller uh, size uh, label for that, which is, uh, I think, for flour. Yeah. And uh, now with these two, you have the option of either using them for storage 
or uh, what I've done is I've just placed a, a bunch of flowers in them and that's it. So you see how easy it is to actually turn something so ordinary into something um, elegant and pretty. Um, you'll see the in, in the end you'll see how pretty these both these can uh, milk cans look um, and that's exactly how you can turn anything in your house uh, give it a second life give it a second chance to make a good impression <laughs> um, so if you like this video please remember to give it a thumbs up uh, like it and if you can share it on Facebook or with your friends that would be great um, if you could also subscribe to my channel that would be lovely uh, leave a comment I'd love to hear your comments thank you again We're going to swell it sort of a thing. We're going to give it a makeover. Step one, we're going to use some acrylic paint in here. I'm just going to dry brush it with a little bit of Generally in wood, we would we would brush or we would paint in the direction of the wood. So, for instance, I can see it's clearly it should go downwards. That's, that's the direction of the woods, but I am not going to do that. inside of the well I'm not really bothered about the look I'm just doing this because I wanted to kind of give it a brighter look inside the well only that much it's 
so even if you don't want to paint it inside that's fine as well Friends, I share uh, DIYs and craft tutorials in my channel. So almost every project I attempt has an element of recycling or repurposing or upcycling. So if you enjoy those kinds of uh, trash to treasure DIYs, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section or simply drop by to say hello. I'd love to know what kind of uh, videos do you enjoy the most on YouTube? Um, would it be the DIY and craft tutorials or maybe makeovers or kids crafts or maybe Dollar Tree or Dollar Rama shopping hauls? So I could make more of those videos. Don't forget to tell me which one amongst these three uh, was your favorite. It's incredibly difficult for me to pick a favorite because not only do these uh, pieces now have got an aesthetically pleasing makeover, but they're equally functional as well. I'm hoping to store my paint, paint tubes in the well while uh, I can place uh, some of these candles and the milk canister in the tray. I think that would be great. Thank you for dropping by and uh, watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. Voilà.